Right then, so today we're uh, going to be doing a bit of uh, improvements to the interior. Um, basically, this gear stick gator is pretty much, um, well, worse for wear, shall we say. Um, the leather's just kind of disintegrated, it's, uh, it's all gone funny and um, yeah, it's, it's like it's got dandruff. There's bits of bloody leather just all over the place and it's not very... It doesn't really look good uh, in the in the car, it just looks a bit crap, it's letting the whole interior down. So I have got myself a new gator to go on. But um, yeah, this should this video should really help you um, like sort out. If, if you've got the same issue basically, um, then you know you can just watch this I guess and um, Bob's your uncle, you can have a nice new gear stick gator like this. Um, I didn't get this from Rimmer Brothers. You can get Rimmer Brothers ones, uh, the genuine ones, but for about 70 quid. Um, the leather's ever so slightly different, um, but to be quite honest with you, I'm not too fussed. It looks better than that. Um, and this was a fraction of a price at like 15 quid on eBay. So, um, you know what, I'll leave a link in the description if you need to get one you sent. Because it, it is a quality replacement. It's still got the frame on the bottom and such, so you don't have to mess around with having to dismantle this. Um, so yeah. Anyway, to start off with, uh, your gear stick gator might actually have uh, this bit already like stuck up and um, tucked in between the, uh, the gear knob. Pull that down. For some reason, mine's already loose. Don't know why. Uh, but yeah, just pull it down. Uh, this is, I must, I must admit, this is a pre project drive car, so the gear stick is different. On the later cars, um, it's more of a rounded gear stick. Uh, what you pull off, this is a twist off. So this applies for the Rover 200 and the early Rover 25. So we would just give it a good old twist. And um, it is quite a long thread, so do be prepared. <laughs> it does take a while. But yeah, let's do that and it should. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That comes off a lot quicker, doesn't it? So yeah, um, this 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 thing's knackered. But anyway, next thing really is I'm going to take out the radio because you need to take the whole centre console out. I'll take that off. Bezel comes off. Oh, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? I don't have the removal tools. They're like two little prongs that go inside of here. They're different to pins. They're like little um, slots. Uh, similar to flatted screwdrivers, but I'm just going to use a flatted screwdriver because it'll do the same job. Let's get it there. It'll be different for you guys. You might have an original cassette and it'll be different. There's different tools for different radios, you see, so it's all about getting them out. In fact, because I'm left handed, this one will be better to push out a bit. So hopefully, fingers can still come off. Ah, yes. There we go. So you don't need security tools, you just use screwdrivers and Bob's your uncle, it'll come out. There we go. Someone hard wired that in, I hope not. That was there, that would be a... Ah, right, ah, never mind. It looks like... See, someone, the previous owner put in a different... Aha, there we go. The previous owner put in a different uh, radio, so... It's... Um... Ah, there we go, there we go, that's what we want, we want these ones. Ah, pretty easy, I tell you what, I did this on the other 25 and they were a nightmare to get out. That was nice and easy to remove, so we'll put that somewhere safe. Probably just on the seat because, you know, it's not off anywhere, but... There we go, we've got them out, that's nice and easy. Um, next thing to do is to remove the vents. Uh, get all these buttons removed because there's more cables and all that and then there's four screws, two on either side uh, take this cover off, lift it all up and it should be good to go really okie dokie, uh, well we've got flatted screwdrivers from earlier um, so I'm just going to use another one of them uh, to remove the vents guys you're going to go mental at me for doing this oh you're going to mount the dashboard I'll be careful, do not worry I don't, I don't know where my bloody uh, trim and removal things have gone just be very careful, I mean these can pop out pretty easy anyway, so just be careful, they are brittle, these like to break and we go for a lot of bloody money for ones that aren't broken so we do need to be careful, we don't want to be bloody damaging them Right, prise it out ever so slowly, take your time 
a natural come out all in one and actually you know what that's a nice vent that's in good condition now the next step is to just pull these out oh hey up <laughs> that one <laughs> fair enough that one wasn't connected oh dear there we go right so these are these are all out and these just come out nice and easy. Remember the order, don't put them in the wrong bloody switches when you put them back in, because you'll be in a whole world of pain. Ah oh dear, maybe this one's slightly different. But yeah, the idea. Right, so that's the switches out. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that's take that out gear. Uh, I've got a blanket put down here, I don't have electric windows. You might do. Same principle, just remove that. And if you've got electric windows, remove a plug. Should be nice and easy. Right, so. We've got four Phillip head screws, we've got two on either side, so we'll remove these now. Um, so, as I say, it's pretty easy, pretty, um, a pretty easy job is this. Uh, it's not too difficult really, um, because these interiors weren't really built the best, um, so a lot of it can be just pulled off with your fingers and hands. Really, it's just a matter of uh, making sure you don't break anything because obviously, brittle plastic, 23 year old bloody plastic, it's, um, it's, it's a nightmare sometimes because you know what it's like. Uh, but yeah, um, you should know where the screws are. There's one there, one there. Uh, you'll see them when you do it yourself. Now let's come round to the other side and do them as well. Right then, so I've removed the um, the handbrake cover and the armrest and whatnot. But it's pretty simple. Um, remove the ashtray, and then you've got a little um, blanking cover at the front, and that you take that off, and it should reveal uh, two seven mil bolts, and that's holding it down, and then it should be able to slide out. Right, so now it's out. It should give us a bit more room to manoeuvre. Um, there we go, you see. Um, now, if you very, if you look down here, there's probably two plugs for your cigarette lighter. Um, basically, you know, just take them out. Doing this without looking, so it's like, you know, uh, there we go. Blind, there we go, but um, yeah, so. All that gubbins out of the way. There we go. I believe that's a different. I've not. I don't remember. Unless it's to house that, I don't know. It looks. It just looks slightly different to one that I previously owned. It looked a bit larger, you see. So I was kind of struggling to get the thing out, but. Um, ideally, what you want to do is get these side bits and just bring them over the dashboard like that so they're just you know not getting trapped underneath and um, lift out like that there we go so that is the old um, the old uh, centre console out so what we're really wanting to be doing here is if we flip it upside down it's a bit awkward here with all the camera work stuff but we'll try our best uh, there's two screws here which have got this um, you've got this plate and this basically just holds this gear stick gator and it's nice and easy to remove right so I've taken this out of the car just so it's a bit easier for us to see um, nice and easy uh, two screws for some reason um, one of the clips for the, uh, for the actual dashboard has broke uh, where it connects to the top. For some reason they used rivets and everything else is screws. I don't understand why uh, they felt the need to use rivets. Everything else is screwed onto it. So, um, yeah, a bit odd, but there we go. Right, so here is the old gator. That's the plate. This is knackered. So, let's get rid of that. Um, so yeah, uh, basically let's get the new one and make sure you, you get the, the thing on the right way around. 
it's slanted like that. So um, if we look at it this way, I want to make sure it's sat in like that. So if you can see this, shove it in. Which is good, that's good. And then just put that over the top. I'm getting it wrong there as well. <laughs> right, yeah, so that's good. Get one of the screws. I thought that would have held, but never mind. <laughs> Screw it down a bit more and get the other one in. All these, for some reason, have. There we go, that's better. So it's meant to sit. It's a bit awkward, is this? I think the actual. I mean, this is an aftermarket one, so it's not going to be. Perfect fit, but yeah, it's better than what the other thing was. You have to be bent now, but I think it'll be fine anyway. It should be fine. It looks a lot better anyway, like that, that's for sure. Okay, okay, so we have the new gator installed. And now all we need to do is get this in, like so. It is a bit awkward, like. You know what, right, it actually helps if you uh, put that in fourth. a bit more room to slot in like that. There we go. Let's make sure that them wires are poking out. Right. So yeah, that's in. There we go. So that, oh, I'll tell you what, that looks better already. Bloody hell, look at that. Right. Right, so I've just wired up the um, cigar lighter and I've screwed in the dashboard so it's nice and secure. Um, now basically what we need to do is get the end of the gear stick, to push that down a bit, and then get the old knob on and uh, give it a good old twist. Um, get it nice and tight. It's quite a long thread so we'll be doing this for a while. We'll get there eventually. Two hours later. Oh, we're getting tight now. I reckon that's good. And then all we need to do really is just get this top of a gate and pull it over the bit of trim at the bottom of a gear knob so that it sits nice and flush. So we'll do that now. Okie dokie, so I have pulled the uh, the top of the uh, gator over the, the um, trim on the gear stick and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. That's pretty good going, that. I'm happy with that. It's, it looks so much cleaner as well now than the other. This horrible... Ugh, look at, that's definitely seen better days, hasn't it? Mm. But yeah, we're going to get everything put back together now and um, yeah, we should be golden. Right, well that is everything back together. Um, all the switches, the vents, the radio and all that sort of stuff is back in. And I tell you what, that is such an improvement over the original. 
Um, yeah, the interior is a bit um, grubby and it needs a good hoover. I haven't had chance. I've been very busy with um, you know degree work and such, and it's just not really a priority. Um, but this, um, I'm just basically yeah, I did this. I was just on a little break. Um, you know, I've been at it all day. But um, there we go. That is nice and lovely. Very chuffed with that. So. There we go, new gear stick gator, fitted, and I tell you what, it's massively, massively lifted the interior up, made it look a lot less worn and everything like that, so that's just fantastic. Um, so if you ever need to do this yourself, hope this video should help, you know. Um, but yeah, whoa, God, lovely. So yeah, um, cheers for watching guys, and I will see you in another video where we will probably be doing more um, things to the interior, uh, improving it and um, overhauling it and all that sort of stuff so yeah 